first of all, uh, a fixed ladder is defined in the, the rules. So a fixed ladder means a ladder with rails or individual rungs that is permanently attached to a structure, building, or equipment. Fixed ladders include individual rung ladders, but not ship stairs, step bolts, or manhole steps. So you commonly find uh, fixed ladders in locations where um, there is a permanent piece of equipment and there isn't enough room for a stairway. Um, so a means of access in the form of a ladder that is permanent will be installed. So it becomes a fixed ladder. So instead of using a portable ladder to get to the elevation um, between different runways, um, you'll have a fixed ladder that is installed and is left behind as a permanent structure. Protection from falls are required in the rules and there is a specific section just for fixed ladders. And that's one of the trigger heights. So anytime that a employee is going to be climbing a length that is 24 feet or greater above a lower level, some sort of protection is gonna to need to be provided for that employee when they're climbing the ladder. And so that lower level is really the important part when you're making the measurement. That 24 foot climb is going to be taking into account whether or not the platform below is large enough to reasonably catch the employee. If it's not, then you would measure to the level that is uh, below that platform. The walking working surfaces require that when the length of climb up a fixed ladder is greater than 24 feet, the employer needs to provide protection for the employees from falls. In the future, that's gonna be limited to a ladder climbing safety system or a personal fall arrest system. Currently, the use of a cage or a well is still allowed as a form of fall protection, um, but there is a definitive date where the cage or the well will no longer be allowed to be used as a form of fall protection when climbing a ladder.